This is a quick video demonstrating the Heath Kit IM525B uh, Harmonic Distortion Analyzer. Analyzer spelt like that. Wasn't made in Gloucester, was it? Right. It's a nulling type of uh, analyzer. Uh, I've currently got an input uh, on the right here. Ooh, crackle, crackle. Um, that's about two volts. 580 hertz something like that coming from function generator right uh, as we can see we're currently set to voltmeter three volt range and we're showing about two volts sadly the red decibel uh, legend on the meter is uh, quite badly faded but there we go right let's uh, measure some distortion okay first thing to do is set up the level so we move the meter range around to set level and the function switch to set level as we see the meter movement bobbles about. What we do is we have to peak this up. So there you go. Oh, it seems to be about 6.2, 6.3 on there. Right, once we've uh, peaked it up, we can move the function switch. I've already got the range set to the right frequency. Move the switch over to distortion. And we have to tune our notch. So move that around until we drop away. There we go. That's a sine wave, so we'd expect a fairly low, low distortion there. If I just click the function generator over to that square wave, oh look, lots of lovely distortion. Pick it up again. And we can see. There we go, triangle maybe. Less ready, shouldn't it? There we go. So there we go. The, uh, there we go, it's minus 10 dBs, minus 20 dBs. Let's go back over the sign. I know this oscillator isn't actually brilliant. Oh, better than I thought. There we go. Sadly, Missing its knob on the manual and auto switch. And, and sadly, I don't really know what the manual and auto switch does. It's always been in auto. So there we go. The Heathkit Harmonic Distortion Analyzer IM5258. Cheers.